Wenn jetzt die Hut oder was? Was ist los mit dir? Oh, Dein, oh, das oh, ist <lacht> Hello guys, welcome back to today's video. When it comes to street photography, there's one thing that a lot of people are absolutely terrified of and that is uh, being confronted by others or somebody uh, reacting in a negative way, right? So what you just saw in the intro, don't worry, that was staged, that was totally not the case. Uh, so there was a shooting that I had and we just did this for fun. But in today's video, I want to show you something that I recorded when I was in Melbourne, Australia last year. Something happened there and by chance I recorded it. So it's I have this on video so I can show it to you today. And the idea for today's video is I want to show you the footage and I want to go through it and I want to talk to you about what's going on in the video. And trust me, it's going to be very interesting. So I would say without further ado, Let's uh, start the video and let's see what's going on. So the idea was to film an episode while I was in Melbourne last year. And I was using my Leica M6 and some film. And I thought, hey, it might be a lovely day because the sun was out, but that changed a little bit later. But that's not the point of today's video because something happened right in the beginning when I start shooting the episode. So when I walked away, I noticed that somebody's following me. And I thought, well, whatever, maybe it's just coincidence. <laughs> Let's see. I just kept walking and then this happened. Hmm? Hey, Don. Hey. I need to talk to you for a sec. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Sit down for a sec, right? Word. I need to talk to you. It's okay. Yeah, talk to me. Sit down for a sec. It's okay. All right, stay there. Okay. Did you take someone's photo? Yes. What but it's, it's legal. It is illegal. You need that permission. So the guy that uh, followed me, he's the one that was down at the, at the river and uh, when I took the photo. And he followed me. And maybe if you closely look at him, you notice that he's not aggressive, he's not upset or anything. He's rather nervous. And that was a little bit odd because usually if people get mad, they are maybe aggressive or maybe just, ah, oh, what the hell, blah, blah, blah. But this guy was somewhat nervous. They were, that was a little bit strange. So he tr started talking to me and I was okay, let's uh, let's listen to him. No, Same no, he's recording someone. Now, if you take someone's photo, you have taken no right. They have the right to ask. You, you got to ask them yes. first. If you take the photo, you literally okay. owe the money. Bring the police and ask them. Well, there you go. So in what he just told me is if you take a f or if you take a photo of somebody without asking you owe them money so in that moment i knew what this was all about it's not about me taking a photo it's about me giving him money for that so he wants money he's pretty much trying to scam me and get money out of me but let's continue let's see what happens next you have taken something that we have that we have not ascended to <laughs> well, i'm telling yeah. you you have done something that we did not say it was all right with us. We have the right to do that, yeah? You don't have the right to take photos of people when they have not given permission. I mean, I know I know my rights, you know? You don't obviously, dude. I know my rights, Victor, and you know why? I was yes. in the army for two years. I know okay, cool. So he was still t trying to tell me that I was wrong because I cannot take a photo of him down there uh, without asking, which is complete nonsense because I know my rights. I know that it's totally legal. So he was wrong. But of course he said, oh, no, 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 he's right. And he knows that because he was in the military for two years. So he knows his rights, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the military has to do with this, but hey, whatever. So let's continue. I'm trying to tell you. Yes. Unless you delete those photos. Yes. I'm going to have to do something that the police won't mind. It's called assistant arrest. Okay. <laughs> hey, I know how you feel right now. Okay, guys. Citizens arrest if I don't delete the photos. Hmm. And the police doesn't mind that. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but it sounds very fishy to me. So in that moment, I knew, okay, this is complete nonsense. This is complete bullshit. It's not about, like I said before, it's not about me taking a photo and uh, it's about money. So he wants money. That's very clear at this point. So I thought, hey, I think it's it's better just to walk away because it doesn't make much sense talking to this guy because he's, I don't know, maybe he's a criminal, he's some thug, whatever. So let's just walk away and 
call it a day. Or you can pay us for our, our hour in permission yes. that you took. Okay. No, no. Hang on, please, you're not listening to me, sir. So you can see again, he was asking for money, basically. He said, oh, because I, they did not give me permission. Now I have to pay them, which is pretty strange, but that's what he said. So I was okay, now finally let's get out of here. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you know, it's... Okay. Keep. I mean, I, the thing is, I know my rights, you know? No, you don't. I know, I know, I know. Uh, sir? I know, it's in public, you, you know? Uh, Germany. Germany. Yeah. You're in Australia, right? Yes. Guess what? Huh? It's a photo of someone when you shouldn't have. I better know my rights. I know, I know. I'm going to send this address to you, sir. If you do not do what I asked, you have 10 seconds to comply. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying. Ten. You know what? We will just go to this guy. We go to this guy. We, we added us to call the police. Okay. Four, three, okay. two, one. All right, guys. At this point, I thought, okay, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Um, let's go over to the security guard that was only 50 meters away from me and let's have him call the police because it's just getting really ridiculous and the guy is threatening me to arrest me which is absolutely insane so i kept walking and let's see what happens next i'm about to citizen arrest you sir and i'm right going to, to ask the security right, guard you're okay. resisting arrest i'm going to have to arrest you right now sir sir if you resist i'm going to have to ring the police and get them to okay so we're taking them. photos of excuse me excuse sir me. sir We'll ask him, we'll ask him. Right, yeah. Right, now, I've asked you once, okay, okay, and I'm going to... Okay, right. okay, okay. okay. You okay. Think to me? Yeah, it's okay, it's I okay. Am, yes, I yes, yes. Citizens arrest. Citizens, he took photos of people without our permission. <laughs> so, just looking at the footage again after uh, more than half a year, <laughs> it's so insane. So, at this point, um, basically, there's two options here. Option number one is uh, to fight the guy, which I could. Um, and because I'm filming everything, so I think it should be very obvious that it's self-defense. But if I swing the camera in his face um, and the police shows up, uh, yeah, I might be in trouble. Maybe then he's pressing charges on me. Option number two was let's or wait for the security guy because he was just or he was already looking at us. So I saw him walking over. I was like, okay, he will be here in a few seconds. And um, let's see what happens then. Now, I'm asking you now, yes. now give me your camera. I'm not going to wreck it. I'm just going to take the photos off that you just took. In this moment, he asking me to hand over my camera, which I would probably never do. Of course not. Um, but in this case, if he tries to grab it, of course, I would defend myself. And because it's my camera, so there's no way I would, or I would give him the camera. But the security guard was already here. So yeah, it's, get, it's getting very interesting now. So let's keep watching. Is it a citizen arrest? He's, he's like, told you know completely. I, right? took I took a photo. You had no permission. Shut up, I'm talking. I took a photo. Of? Of what? Of people. Me. Just sitting there from far you away. It's like, what the hell? No permission. I know the no law. Children, me. No, but no, no children. No, 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 no children. It doesn't matter. Okay, guys, that was very interesting. So the security guard, uh, he asked me hey, what's going on. So I tried to tell him what's going on. And the guy was blah, 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 keep talking bullshit. And he said, hey, shut up. <laughs> so then he asked me if the, um, after I told him that I was taking photos, he asked me were there children involved. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Why is he asking that? But you will know a little bit later. So why he was asking that there was very interesting, but the guy was persistent, like, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I have no right to do that, blah, blah, blah. So let's keep watching. The law says that he It's not illegal. It's to get permission. Hey, what you're doing is illegal. Sir, he has to get permission. No, I don't. Permission, listen to me. Oh, no, I went to the Lord. army for two years. I know the law too. Listen, oh, sir, let me speak for a moment. Let him up. Let me speak. He can charge you no, he cannot. I'm doing a citizen's oh, arrest. Oh, I need to no, speak to you for a minute. He took photos of us without permission. You need permission. Okay, so what he just said is that he was in the police force for over 30 years. So, bam, <laughs> he, knows his, he knows the law. He knows that it's totally legal what he, I was doing. And he also told them, if he's not letting go, I can press charges because he's basically uh, attacking me. So, and I haven't done anything. And I think at this point, it was very clear that it was good that I did not do anything because the only person doing something wrong was that guy, not me. 
So in case the police shows up, it's much better, you know, if, uh, if I would just attack him, then he could say, oh, I started the whole thing. And then it gets a little bit sketchy. So, yeah, the, I have to say that the uh, security guard was an absolute legend. Um, the way he's handling this situation, as he's so calm and collected, it's pretty impressive. Uh, and you can easily tell that he has loads of experience uh, with guys like this dude here. Do you take photos? No, I don't. Really, I don't. Sir, you do? No. Why don't you... I'm giving you one chance. Sir, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, dude, dude. Dude. And cop, I know the law inside out. We need his Dude. Hey, dude. We shouldn't take photos of people. Dude. You need permission to take photos of people. You do. Yes, you do. Yeah, it's public. Please, thank you. You do, sir. Dude. You know what? You know what? You shouldn't have done that. You need permission to do that. I don't. I don't. What are you talking about? He needs permission. No, I don't. You're going to go and assault people. I didn't assault him. I did a citizen's arrest. No. no. Well, do you want the police or not? <laughs> Dude. It's funny that he is telling the security guard that he has no idea about the law, even though he just told them that he was 30 years in the police force and he probably knows the law pretty well. And he also said he knows the law inside out. So, yeah. So, oh my God. It's <laughs> that guy was absolutely crazy. Do you want the police or not? Do I need it? No. You tell me. I don't need it. Okay, well. So interesting, huh? He's not, um, he doesn't want to have the police involved, which is not so, not a surprise because, like I said, I think this was only about money, him scamming money out of me. And if, in case the police shows up, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they already know him, if he has a, um, a criminal record. So I wouldn't be surprised about that. So I think is in his best interest if the police doesn't show up. So, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Leave him alone and go. He needs to learn a lesson. <laughs> I mean, no. Don't take photos of people again without no. their permission. All right, go. Public I'm just saying before I go, please anywhere, do not mate. take photos of people without their permission. Some people do Let not like that. Let me explain yep. to you that it is a public place. That's right. People can take photos exactly. anywhere in not a, of a person without their permission. Right Look it up on Google if you, you need to. There Sir, you, are you are wrong. You are wrong. You just you, what you're doing is you're defending go. this man because you saw what you go. saw and you didn't see the first go. part. While we're getting this right it. now, I'm going to get the police go. for you. Go. You have just assisted someone in something Excellent. illegal. Excellent. So now he's uh, talking about getting the police involved because the security guard assisted me in doing something illegal, which is pretty insane. I mean, what the hell is going on? Um, and by the way, I had to, or I, I was blurring out, or I will blur out the face of the security guard. And uh, when he's mentioning his name, I will just beep it out because uh, to protect his privacy. But this nut job, I will not. I think it's, um, he should be exposed for what he did. Um, and in case you're from Melbourne or you will ever be in Melbourne, if you see that guy, just uh, stay away from him <laughs> or maybe get the police involved already because he's obviously he's a little bit of a nut job and um, yeah, he needs to learn his lesson. I think he learned his lesson here. Hopefully um, he will in the future will not do s silly stuff like this. A lawyer. You know what? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name's T what? Jam tip. What's your name? That's What's your all name? You need to no, mate. What's your name? That's all you need. Right. To false name. Illegal. Go What's your name? What's your name? Yeah. I'm asking your name. Mate, you're fucking mad. Oh my right? god. You know what? I'm getting the police. Good. Okay. Ciao. So the guy asked the, the security guard about his name. And when he told him his name, he said, Oh, that's a false name. It's illegal. I will now call the police. <laughs> I mean, he. he he did not call the police, to be honest. Um, and I have to say a big shout out and a big thanks to the security guard, an absolute legend, the way he handled the situation, absolutely impressive. And I don't know what would have happened without the guy. Um, maybe somebody would have called the police. I, I don't know. I could have called the police myself, but it would have been maybe interesting to see how the police would have handled the situation. And I think what probably would have happened is they probably arrest him because he clearly assaulted me and I haven't done anything. So he's the one breaking the law. So they probably would have uh, arrested him and, um, or they, maybe they know, already know his name. <laughs> Who knows? What the hell? See you later, mate. Yeah, that's See you later, buddy. Bye-bye.
All right, guys, so what's the takeaway from uh, this story here? The takeaway is that this guy, it was clearly about making money, scamming money out of me, and it was not about me taking a photo. I think uh, that is very important because I had situations before where people got mad, but usually it wasn't a big problem. But here, because he was also, because he was so persistent, I think it was very obvious. And he, he mentioned it tw twice, at least twice, that uh, I... I or him, or them or him money now because of me taking a photo without permission which is kind of ridiculous but situation like this can happen um, I think in this case was the best possible outcome however um, if these situations happen it's so rare like I said it I've taken so many photos and it's super super rare so don't let this just encourage you from taking photos out in the streets there were more people thanking me for taking a photo than getting upset, which is um, interesting, very interesting. But usually you will forget about the positive experience that you've made on the streets and you will just remember the bad things. And then this will always be in your mind, oh, what bad thing can happen to me? In the end, nothing really will happen. So as you can see in the video, clearly this guy is uh, it's probably some criminal or whatever. So it's only about money. It's not about taking photos. He just saw the opportunity. In the end, uh, he did not get anything, which is how it should be. So guys, if you want to learn from me in person and to get confident shooting in the streets, taking photos of strangers, um, come to one of my workshops. Um, the, the link will be in the description box. Here you can see some, some upcoming dates and they will also be on, the, on my website. There will be also some future dates. And also, check out my street photography zines. Um, that helps me out. That helps out the channel and helps me out to make more videos in the future uh, showing you street photography taking all over the world. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today's video. And if you like this episode, as, you, as always, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen. Thank you.